Hello, good evening. So I'm going to try to talk about um, something else other than what I've been vlogging about lately, which is this relationship, this new relationship I have. Let me not cover the mic. Um, it is November 14th. Today is exactly a month since we last, since I've started this relationship with, with Elvin. Um, I do have a video of him. It's a very, it's a very short one, but I do show him, like, I'll post that one in a few days. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm a little perplexed. Today was really trying. I got locked out. I took the wrong key, so I was locked out. And it caused a smidge of tension between Elvin and I. I didn't want it to get let it get to me. Now, I'm starting to view him in a different light. Like, I'm going to be honest. I was very judgy at first. When I first met him, like, in person. Like, well, the feelings were still there. They're very real. But I was, like, a little judgy. You know, and I wasn't like really appreciating like him. I said I was going to talk about something else, but I can't help myself right now. I'm very much smitten by my mythical creature boyfriend. I'm very smitten. And um, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster ride emotionally. Um excuse the biting of the lips I like pfft, my skin's been so dry, my lips have been chapped. Um today yeah, so like I walked out and I took the wrong key and it's like this this key kind of just appeared out of nowhere. I think I saw it laying around. I thought that was like the key to the to the apartment. But it wasn't. It was it was some random key that looked just like the original key. But obviously wasn't because I tried to come in with like pollo, like Peruvian chicken and, and like hungry. And I was like, let me try to go through the window. <laughs> There's like a balcony over here. Anyway, that was a little trying and I was a little stressed out about that. Um, I don't want to take it out on him. And then, well, hello. A different filter. This is soft light. Let's go back to elegant. So, I don't want to take it out on him or anything because that's not right, but I was getting really frustrated and like, he's, okay, so he attends a church that my female, my girl cousin, one of like many on my dad's side, she, her husband runs a church and they got a daughter who's cute, you know, whatever. Um, well, he apparently hit like on her picture and like put a little heart thing, like a love thing. He did that for me and my kids, too. I just... Ugh, I need to get over myself. I really do. Feet. And... I just got a little bit jealous, I guess. But I started... My imagination started going wild. And I'm like, he's doing this on purpose. I'm locked out. Like, he got... He, he told me to get this key and he doesn't care. And it's just like, I'm starting to realize it's me. You know? Like, I'm the paranoid one. Really? Notification. I'm the paranoid one. And it's not fair to me for him for me to be this way so I like as soon as I got here I was getting ready to just say a bunch of stuff to him but like I was like how do I contain my like inner like fury like it's not even fury it's passion but it's okay maybe it's a little bit fury <laughs> but I was like how do I contain this and I don't want to like come off wrong so I was running up the stairs because he's like he lives three flights it's like three flights up here okay I'm going up these windy little, like, stairs where I'm, like, you know, like, squeezing, like, anyone can, like, fall. With people with bad balance, they have no business going up these, up and down these stairs. Um, vertigo, people with vertigo, please don't try it. Um, not that it, whatever, I'm just, bad joke. So, I'm going up the stairs and I get to the third floor and there he is, like, trying to pry the door open because apparently that's, ow, his only copy to, like, the only copy, I just had like a weird pain here. Not in my chest, but in like my, whatever, I think it's a way I'm, I'm propped up. Um, and it's like his only copy. And he gave it to me, or he was like, it's up here. 
And so he kind of, you know, he kind of like bickered about it a little. I was so pissed at him when before I got here. I was like, oh, he, I was just saying all this stuff. And I, right before I got to the steps, I, I like closed my eyes and I prayed. I'm like, Lord, please forgive me. I was like, please forgive me, Lord. That's not right. I don't want to be this way. Forgive me. So then I went up the stairs to the third floor. I'm hearing the roommate talking. And I went to the third floor and I saw him fiddling and like finally pride opened the door and I gave him the key. He opened the door he opened the door with the key, but like broke in with the key. It's really like he used the key to break in. And um That was just the wind. Cool, so the other, the roommate, the guy who um, rents the entire floor, rents this room to Elvin. Okay, so that, okay, so we get in, and there's like a little bit of awkward silence between us, and I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna go to the room, and then... The past two days were tense because he's like, I think you need to go back and you need to take care of that divorce thing. Some guy at church apparently told him that, like, until I get that divorce that I shouldn't, we shouldn't, like, really be together or, like, cohabitating. I'm like, how are you going to, like, have regrets after we've done the deed twice, okay? And I've only been here for, like, a day and a half. No, two days now because I came Sunday, so today is Tuesday. And so, yeah, it's not like we were like jackrabbits or anything, but still. Um, I play with my hair when I'm stressed, too. <laughs> I talk really low, and I play with my hair. Do any of y'all have, like, any kind of traits, like when you're nervous or stressed or anxious? I'm not really stressed, nor am I nervous. I'm more, like, anxious. And I tend to play with my hair a lot. And because these vlogs are like venting vlogs, you'll see a lot of this going on. <laughs> so if this bothers anyone, I'm so sorry. It soothes me. So you can do whatever it is you do to soothe you while you watch me soothe me. And please don't share if it's anything explicit. And please don't do anything explicit. Ugh. Whatever. Um, it's quiet now because everyone's out of the house like he doesn't know me that well I mean it's only been a month since we've been dealing with each other together and we have a really tight connection already and there's like a lot of emotions between us um it's kind of scary for me because I trust him and I haven't really trusted anyone fully in a long time and the recent ex and I'm not talking about the like still legally considered like the husband I'm talking about the boyfriend I had and I know people can't keep up always with me but listen I'm in my 30s it's not like I'm just out there dating like I've been married yeah and the guy that I married he wasn't like there for me or like he wasn't really like meant to be for me I guess some, some people are just meant for each other um how do I know that this guy's right for me I just do. I haven't really, like, gave it much thought. It's just this feeling that I have. And it's against all odds because I have had thoughts kind of, like, trying to convince me otherwise. Or, cons like, I'm never going to go back to my ex-boyfriend. That's for sure. I just, I'm not going to do it. If it didn't work out with Elvin and I for some odd reason, um, it would be circumstantial, I think. Or, or timing or whatever. I really don't think he, we, him and I would like part ways on a bad note. I feel like he's holding back a lot of his feelings. But he does tell me he loves me a lot. And he caresses my face and he'll like kiss me. And he calls me like this. Cosita means like his little thing. His little, this little something. Which is cute. And I guess this is the getting used to. My one eyeball has little, little makeup, little to no makeup because 
I don't know what the heck is wrong with my eye. But I've had, like, weird, like, itchy, dry spells, and I've been putting a crap load of eye drops in it. You know what it is? I think it's because of the, um, when I rubbed my eye and I had, like, the white flower, like, ointment for your back. I put some in my eye, and since then it's been messed up. Mystery solved. Um, okay, so I just wanted to talk about that, and maybe I'll erase this video. <laughs>